In this video, we are going to see how to auto forward Telegram messages to Discord. Now, let's say you're using Telegram as an instant messaging app and you want that every time there is a new message, the same message should be shared with your team or clients on Discord. Now, how would you do that? For this, you will have to integrate these two applications and you can do the same with the help of Pabli Connect software. Now, here your trigger application would be Telegram and your action application would be Discord. Now, how would you do it yourself? For that, let me take you to my screen. So, let us begin with the process. The first thing that we have to do is we have to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we click on enter, it has taken us to the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can simply click on sign in. And if you are a new user, then you will have to sign up for free by clicking on this tab. At the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, since I'm an existing user, I'm simply going to sign in. And now it has taken me to the All Apps page. Here, since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect, let's click on Access Now. And now this page has appeared, which is the dashboard of the software. On the right hand side, you can see a tab, Create Workflow. I'm going to click on this and a dialog box appears, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here we wish to send Telegram messages on Discord to our team. So I'm going to name this as Telegram to Discord integration. Let's click on create. Now as we do that, finally this particular page has appeared which has got two very important events, trigger and action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, an action says do this. Action is basically the response of trigger. Now here the first trigger application would be Telegram. So let's click on this Telegram bot. And now the trigger event, so there's just one, set webhook watch updates. I'm going to click on this and then click on connect. Now here Pavli Connect is asking to connect itself with Telegram bot account. I've already logged into my Telegram account. I'm going to click on add new connection. And now it is asking for a token. And for this token, I'm going to take you to my Telegram account. Here you have to first look for bot father. So I'm going to click on this. Now let's start the conversation. And here to start a conversation and to create a new bot, I have to type slash new bot. Let's click on enter. So here it is saying that yes, we can create a new bot and now we have to name it. So let's say that uh, the name is Discord T123. This is the name of my bot. And now it is asking to choose a username for my bot. So it is Discord T123. Your username should always end with underscore bot. So let's write this. And now here you can see that use this token to access. So basically this is the token that we need this is the key. I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste it here and then click on save. So once done, now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And now it is saying that you will have to do a test submission so that you can capture the response. Again, I'm going to take you back to Telegram and here, see, we have just created a new bot. So this is the new bot that I've just created. And now I'm going to start the conversation. As soon as I start the conversation, you can see that the bot is in the chat box now. Now I have to create a new group. So I'm going to click on this and click on new group. And here I'm going to add a few members. So once added, now I also have to add my bot. So I'm going to look for my bot. So this is the bot discord the one, two, three. And now let's click on enter. As soon as we do that here, we have to name our group. So let's say the name of the group is Telegram Discord123. Now I'm going to click on enter. So once the group is created with the help of your phone, you will have to make your bot the admin. So now I'm going to do the same. So now I have promoted my bot to admin. And once this is done, I'm going to type a message. So let's say it is hello team. We will gather for the quick catch up at 3 p.m. today. Regards. Now I'm going to click on enter. So here you can see that I have sent a message, which means that now 
if I go back to public connect, I should get the API response. And so here you can see that we have received the API response and uh, this is the chat title. Then we have the chat ID. Here you can see that we also have the message text. So this is the text. So basically now what do I have to do? I have to send this message on Discord. So my next action application would be Discord. Let's click on this. And the action event would be to send a channel message HTML. Let's click on this and connect. So once done, now here you can see that it is asking for a webhook URL because this is going to act as a bridge in connecting the two applications. And here you can see this edit channel. So these are the channels that we have and this is edit channel. So I'm going to click on this. And once done, I have to go to integrations. And then we'll go to webhooks. And then we are going to create a new webhook. And here I'm going to name my webhook as Telegram Discord 123. And now I'm going to save changes and then copy this webhook URL. So once copied, go back to Public Connect and here we are going to paste it. So this is done. Now the message for this message, we are going to map the data from the previous step, which means mapping basically means to receive the data or retrieve the data from the previous steps. So I'm going to click on this and the message is this. So we have mapped it. Then the bot name. So now basically bot name is going to be the group name. So I can write here as telegram to telegram discord group. And this is the bot name. You can even give it uh, a bot icon, like you can add an image or GIF or etc. I'm going to leave this blank for now. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that the application has been processed. Now let's go quickly to our Discord account and check if this has received a message. So I'm going to click on escape here. And here you can see that yes, Telegram Discord group has been created. This is the bot and we have received a message. So what does this mean? This means that uh, Telegram and Discord, these two applications have got completely integrated, but we need to check this in real time as well. So here I'm going to write another message. My message would be, hello team. It was great to talk to you all. We wish to strengthen our bond and reach our common goal soon. Okay, so this is just a motivation thing. Strengthen our bond. And now I'm going to write regards. And now we'll check if I send this message, what should happen? I should receive the same message on Discord. So I'm going to press on enter. And now I'm going to check my Discord channel. So here you can see that, yes, we have received a message. Hello team, it was great to talk to you all. We wish to strengthen our bond and reach our common goal soon regards. Now this basically means that our entire process is a success. The two applications have got integrated and now we are going to quickly check what was the process. So this is just a two step integration process. The first application trigger application was Telegram bot where our event was set webhook watch updates. And the second application was Discord and the event was send channel message HTML. In case of any doubts, you can refer to the workflow. The same workflow is given in the description box of this video. And you can even clone this workflow and process immediately. In case you have any other suggestion or advice, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel, which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pavli.com. And if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.